Years ago, I woke up in an overcrowded jail cell in Zimbabwe's maximum security prison. No water, no toilet, no underwear, no dignity, and no rights. Inmates ate watery porridge with their bare hands because spoons are not allowed. Before lights out, we had to line up in queues for roll call. Group A, B, C, and D. D was for dangerous. And even though the other women there had committed crimes such as murder, armed robbery, and infanticide, I alone was put in the dangerous group. I'd committed the dangerous crime of tweeting, tweeting against police brutality.